What's going on YouTubers, Gadgets Boy, welcome to another video. And right now I'm in Berlin at IFA 2019 and we've just checked out the latest, the updated Samsung Galaxy Fold. And they've done a little bit of tweak here and there and it's looking much better. And I'm excited to actually get hands on this and review it long term. But in the meantime, let's have a look at what's new and what's changed. So back in April, Samsung released the Samsung Galaxy Fold and it's supposed to be revolutionary in the terms of how it folds. And it's a smartphone that it's probably futuristic for most people. Unfortunately for Samsung though, after that release, they sent it out to a few people to review and they started noticing a few problems with this display. So some people tried to peel it off and then it created a lot of problems for Samsung, so they called it back. Luckily, it wasn't wide, widespread. But I'm so happy that Samsung came back bigger and better to re-release this device and it's actually coming to market. You can actually buy it again in some markets uh, this month. So let's have a look at some of the changes and what's up to date. So one of the problems that they were facing before is the fact that you could peel off the first layer on the display. But now what Samsung has done is tucked that protective layer, they've tucked it under the display so you can no longer actually peel it off. And actually try this and you can't peel it off anymore, which is really good. Elsewhere, you'll also notice the protective or protection cap that's on the bottom and top of the this display where it folds in half. And this is there to block debris from getting in underneath like dust and stuff. Again, that's another problem that they faced before and now they've fixed that. So now you can actually use it with confidence that you're not gonna get dust underneath that display, causing it to get damaged again. Other changes as well you'll see is on the hinges as well. So they've actually made them a little bit slimmer and they've closed that gaps a little bit further. So it's now shrunk slightly. So again, helps reduce the opportunity of debris getting into the actual device underneath the display. Again, that's another protective precaution by Samsung here, which is really good. I didn't use the previous version, so I couldn't really tell you too much about how sturdy it feels or how much of a difference it feels in hand and stuff like that. But for me, holding it for the first time in person, it feels solid, it feels sturdy in hand, and I feel like it's something that actually, I can actually put in my pocket every day without having to worry about damaging it. Also, so it's sturdier when you're touching in, pressing the display and so on. What they've also done is added a metal layer underneath the display itself. Again, this is something that you won't really notice, but it's there just to keep it a little bit more stronger and more solid. Elsewhere, the internals are the same. So you got Snapdragon 855 processor chip in there. You got 12 gig of RAM, 512 gig of internal storage, and it's 5G as well. So again, if it does come to the UK, which it is on EE, it's exclusive to EE, we'll be able to use 5G on there. In terms of software, nothing is changed that much, apart from the fact that now you can change the navigation bar at the bottom, so you can move it to the left, to the right, or center, depending on your finger or your hand orientation. For the display, when it's fully folded out, you have 7.3 inch of display. Again, this is great for multitasking, so you can load multiple applications, for example, you can have your maps on the left, and then you can swipe on the right and load other applications like Chrome, uh, YouTube, or you can make notes at the same time, which is pretty cool. And you can easily move them around as well or drag them about. For performance, it performs really well. I tried playing games on it, moving it around, trying to mess with it to see if, it, if there are any hiccups. It just looks great. And when you fold the display, you got a smaller 4.6 inch cover display. I mean, this is quite small. It's not something I can actually imagine myself using on a daily basis. But I think when you fold it out is when it actually becomes the Samsung Galaxy Fold. For me, the Samsung Galaxy Fold is more of a foldable tablet than a foldable phone. Other than that, there are other changes. The camera hardware is still the same. Uh, so if you want to find out more though, but all the other technical specifications, I'll leave links in the description area. So do check it out if you're interested in that kind of stuff. I mean, for $2,000, it's for early adopters. It's not for everyone, but I'm excited to get one and actually play with it full time. So that's it for the Samsung Galaxy Fold, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have any questions, make sure you hit me up on Twitter at GadgetsBoy as well. And hopefully we'll get hold of this later on to actually give you a full review. But in the meantime, if there's anything you want us to do with it when it does come in, let us know as well. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification as well so you'll be one of the first people to know every time there's a video on this channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.